The Tulsa Drillers and the Springfield Cardinals partook in the club's second meeting of the season at beautiful One Oak Field Sunday afternoon. It was a special Mother's Day edition of Kids Eat Free Souvenir Sunday at the ballpark, and the game was fantastic and the entertainment was glorious in this one as the spirited group of 4,300 was on its feet and chanting all afternoon. Jennifer Stringfellow represented the moms with the game's first pitch with one right down the pipe, and another mother quieted her kin by victoriously shoving fries down his pie hole. In game action, Driller's young gun Trevor Oaks was up to his old ways, cutting down batters all afternoon. Professor Oaks finished six innings strong with no earned runs and five strikeouts. In the first, with two gone and Andrew Tolles on first, Jacob Scavuzzo lines one into left center. Center fielder Harrison Bader lays out full extension for the grab, but the ball sneaks under his glove and heads to the wall. Scavuzzo winds up all the way at third with an RBI triple and narrowly misses a shot at an inside the park home run. We go back to 2014, the last time a driller had an inside the parker. That just happened to be here at One Oak Field on a day game against the Springfield Cardinals in the left center field. Tulsa's Tyler Massey brought in Rockies pitching prospect Eddie Butler for a score before sliding home safely. Back to the first and high definition television, where 19-year-old Alex Verdugo chops one up the middle, scoring Scabuzo from third and putting Tulsa up 2-0. In the second, more good things for the Drillers as Drew Maggi paddles his second bomb of the season into the Budweiser Terrace and adds to the Drillers' lead. Kyle Farmer also knocked in tolls in the inning and Tulsa went up 4-0 after two. In the sixth, Professor Oak's final inning of work, Paul DeYoung was at the plate with the bases loaded when Farmer starts and finishes the double play from third, but a closer look at the replay shows the ball hit off DeYoung's foot and the at-bat was still alive. Two pitches later, the professor says, you're close, as he Pikachu's the 95 mile an hour fastball past DeYoung for out number two. But the threat was still alive when next batter Alex Mejia came to the dish. Back up the middle, Calhoun backhands it. He throws to first for the out. Bellinger stays on the bag, and they get the third out. In the seventh, Willie Calhoun's talents were on display again. And he swings and hits one here to right center field. Racing back is Verdugo. This center fielder can't get it. It's over his head. He picks it up on the warning track around third base is Raddick. He's coming to the plate. The relay throw. He is out. Out at the plate is Raddick on the relay throw by Calhoun. After that, Ralston Cash Money struck out two more in the inning before Jordan Schaefer and Caleb Dirks finished out the contest for the Drillers. The 5-0 win for Tulsa puts the Drillers back into position to make a run at the Texas League North's first half title as they sit back just a couple of games now behind the first place Cardinals. Game three of the four-game get-together is Monday morning at 11.05.